So do you two want to explain yourselves? How did everything get so out of hand since I've been away? So you were conned by a post-pandemic property vulture? But how did you get so broke to start with? I couldn't get much work in a pandemic, could I? Oh, stay. I tried my best to keep things going, but I couldn't... And you did a great job. Well, it doesn't feel like it, does it? If it wasn't for your mum seeing that the house was on the market and then buying it back, then right now we would be homeless. Oh. I just wish that you would have told me sooner. I heard things were bad from Juliet, but I didn't know they were this bad. Juliet? Yeah, she called me. Right, well, listen. I'm back now, yeah? So, enough of the doom and gloom. Come on, Pez, get to work. Oh, and give me a cuddle. I'm really glad you're back, Mum. Love you. There is one more thing I need to tell you. I'm going out with James. Bond? Not Nightingale. Oh, come on, stay. He's a posh little snob. I thought you hated him. Why don't you come and meet us for lunch today? I really need you two to get on, so please, can you just give him a chance? I think he might surprise you. Here comes please, Leo's just a try for me. Ooh. Hey, he's ready to try the new menu. Ooh, me? Yeah, it's about time Tony injected some class into the establishment. Yeah, au revoir, McQueen cheesy chips. Bonjour, du Hutchinson foie gras. <laughs> it's nice to see you, Leela. And you. Nice of you to take a break from your busy schedule. Oh, not at all. I've actually been interviewing interns. <laughs> not one of them went to a top ten uni. So this lunch is a welcome break from the riffraff I have spent my morning with. Shall we? And that, my friends, is how the cravat came to be. Wow. And there was me just thinking it was a handkerchief. Oh, so much more than that. You couldn't be expected to understand its history and elegance. We're not really a cravat family, are we, Leals? We're more trackies, bit of bling. More feral than fashionable, you mean. <laughs> I've got to answer this. It's work. Hello? So, how'd you find Tony's pumpkin soup? Average. A bit like your chat. Sorry? Listen, James. Leela is my sister. You're my boyfriend. You both mean so much to me, so please just try and act a little bit more normal. Get her on Team James, yeah? It's all right. I'll do my best. All OK? What do you work want? I'll talk to you about it at home. Can we get the bill, please? Oh, don't worry. I'm sorting it. Of course you are. Typical. Sorry? You think we can't pay a bill? No, not at all. I was just trying to make a good impression. Oh, well, you're too late, James. I don't like you. You're a snob. Leela! No. I'm sorry, see, I tried. Leela, you are bang out of order. <sighs> not now, Steve. Yes, now. You were so rude to him back then for no reason at all. He pities us. <sighs> he actually looks down his nose at us, Steve. Where's your pride? What pride? My pride left the minute I couldn't afford to put food on the table to feed me kids. Listen, I'm really glad that you're back. And with you here, I know we're going to be financially stable, but you need to hear this. James ain't going anywhere. So you better get used to it. Um, are you all right after yesterday? Yeah, I am, thanks. Good. But you don't seem to be. No, I'm not really. Steve wants me to get on with James. <laughs> don't like him. Never have, never will. Mm. But it's not just that. As Steve's broke, he's expecting me to come in and just save the family. Well, you'll be able to. You'll be back firefighting next week. You'll be earning. That's the thing. The station have just called me. They're making me redundant. 